Hello guys, Adam Labad Moss here and welcome to my channel. In case you are coming for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I'll be making more videos. So continuing with Cypress 10. So let's look at um, the environment variable, how you can create environment variable. So why do we create environment variable in Cypress or in any particular programming? Um, tool or scripting tool. We create environment variables when you have um, some sensitive data you don't want, no want to pass along into your CI CD pipeline, or when you have these variables that tend to change based on the environment. Probably you have a stage environment, you have a develop environment, you have a production environment, and these variables change. Probably maybe the base URL changes, or probably some um, particular key values change like uh, the username and password on each one of them so you do not want to ship that along with your code into the ci cd pipeline so let us see if anything has changed particularly with the way um environment variables are made the only change is uh, the absence of the cypress or json file and in the absence of that if you want to create an environment variable using the um using the um using the cypress.config.js file all you just need to do is create an env right and um, have it all opened then do not forget to finish with the comma because you are itemizing then you can put the environment variable here another way to do it is to just like it has been before you could create a new file you could create a new file and um, it would so you create a new file called cypress env.json so it still works the same way you can add this in it and um, you put your environment variable in a json format now as of the um, as as regards which one takes a uh, precedence in um, your code it's um I, I would share a documentation for you to read further out uh, on it because it is not just these two ways that you can assign uh, environment variables actually there are other ways but i'm just showing you like the common ways that um, is possible so we will be going with the method of cypress.env.json because whether you use the env.json file or you create it in your cypress.config.js like this the results how you will call it in your code is still the same thing it's still the same way so um we can remove this from here and it will still probably take the same format like um if i'm going to put maybe standard user here and i call it standard right the value of standard user will be standard user and if I put the password to password will be um I think source can't remember from our environment.json file let's check that so password is secret source standard is standard user and how so we could put that there say secret source by the way, a big shout out to Swag, uh, Swag Labs. They made the uh, they made the source demo site that we are using. So and it's been really powerful for us. So we can write it this way inside the the um, inside the environment the JSON inside the cypress.config.js file or inside our cypress.environment.json file. So let's remove this and continue to use this so we um, paste this here and have this done let me format this to make sure it's okay yes so fine so now we have done this here i like to capitalize my um my usernames and password 
when I'm using the environment variable. It's just a style that I'm used to. It isn't as if it is probably a best practice or a bad practice or something. I just like to capitalize it when I'm using it just to, um, it helps me to remember that I'm using a uh, an environment variable. So if we want to call this in our code, we can easily come here and um, since the username particularly is uh, changing, we could um, get here and just either, rather than just have this here, we could just have um, cypress.env and um, have the value there. Since we want to change the standard user, we are not changing the password as at the moment. We've not touched the, the, the custom command that we made. We are not changing the password yet. We just want to test if um, this would work. So we are putting the standard user like this. So we expect that it picks the value of the standard user from here. So let's see if that would work. So let's try again. And see. So we expect that st standard user still works. As you can see, it picked it from um, the <coughs> it picked it from the cypress.env file. So we could do it that way, like put it this way, or we could just assign it to a variable constant let's say still say standard equals cypress let's just copy let's cut that one out let's cut this out we could say this is equal to this right and we just put standard here right and um if we run the same thing because we've already set what for file changes to false, it won't um, see the changes. So until we do it, until we reload it and we run it again, as you can see, it still works, still picks the standard user. So it can work either ways. So we can go ahead and um, get into uh, our actions folder. Since um, we want to change the password, we could let's just let's lift this let let's lift this and um, bring it here so we just change some variables there so we change this one to password and we change it this one to password as well so all we just need to do is um remove this and assign it to it so let's see if that works if it still works that way you would notice that um, the other ones that are still getting their values from the elements.json file are still getting their values correctly because uh, we have not changed them as well so they just pick their values from there and everything is resolved by the cypress web pack itself so it has nothing to do with, uh, you do not have to have any edit. So if you decide not to use the um, uh, Cypress uh, environment.json file, or you do not even use environment variables at all, you can still store them in the fixtures folder. But the thing is, know why environment variables are used and know the best situation to use it so you can adhere to best practices. So. With that being said, um, that introduces us to the usage of uh, um, uh, environment variables. So in the next video, perhaps maybe it will be, okay, I will want to push this to a Git repository. So we would um, try to configure probably a GitHub action or if we can get uh, GitLab to work on my system because I've made some configurations here. Um, if we can get GitLab to work on my system and we would use GitLab else, we would probably 
just use GitHub and use the GitHub actions, then probably later on we'll also use Circle CI and see how we can push our Cypress scripts from our local um, repository into Circle CI or just use GitHub actions. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the video if you find it useful. See you in the next class. Bye bye.